Hello, I've uh, decided to do a small tutorial of uh, replacing the original cutter head on a Metabo DH330 uh, with a spiral cutter head from uh, Sheertech. It's got 40 carbide uh, cutters um, in a helix, so I think it's gonna be pretty good. I removed the, the top cover and the side covers already. Uh, I've never done this before, so I just have to learn it as we as we dig deeper. But the um, top cover sits with the four, six millimeter um, or five millimeter maybe. Yeah, five millimeter uh, Allen keys top here. Uh, on the hoist lever, there's a small, small screw. Let's see if I can find it. There's a small set screw on the side there, and a small Felix Phillips inside uh, there. Comes off easily. Then in the top cover, you have to remove this little plastic cover here, and below sits a small. Uh, pinion and it's got a Lynx uh, screw so you don't uh, turn it the wrong way um, yeah and um, I'll do some more investigation and I'll get back to you okay so <clears throat> next step is to remove the the main uh, block with the cutter head and everything. Uh, easiest way to do it, I guess, is to unscrew the the um, bearing rods uh, on these little Allen keys and small Allen key here on the height adjustment. Uh, screws um, comes off pretty easily maybe before you start uh, your disassembly it would be easier if the cutter head is uh, all the way down to the to the bottom but it's not a big big deal to turn it manually either so next step I guess is just to get started on the most interesting part to, to remove the Cut your head itself. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we removed the old knives, the cutter head. Um, sits with some Allen screws. You probably have replaced yours once or twice already, I guess. So it's really easy. There's a lot of debris and shit between the, the block and the, the knife, so no wonder you get a lot of inaccuracies and yeah if you want to keep it just make sure to know where your little springs uh, go and uh, they sit here uh, so the uh, the drive belt I just re remove that and the um, the the belt uh, wheel sits here it's got a little 23 millimeter nut also links threaded so be sure not to over torque it the wrong way and be uh, careful not to lose this one so the next thing is to remove the seg ring and uh, See how that goes. So I got the old cutter head out. Just sits on a small bearing here, larger bearing here. This is obviously the way you have to pull it. This is the the pulley side. Um, just one segging to remove. Make sure you have the proper tools. I didn't, so yeah. 
and uh, yeah, we're good to clean it up and put in the new one. So I've uh, unboxed it. Um, comes very well packaged with a lot of uh, polystyrene and, uh, and plates for cover everything. I've uh, ordered, uh, I, I can't really remember what's down there or not, but uh, I've got the new bearings. Comes with a little tool. The one I have is the OEM standard size one, so it's you have to put on your knives or the cutter heads, uh, cutters. <clears throat> Um, you have to put that on after you install the shaft. They, they sell another version which is slightly smaller diameter and it goes <coughs> inside the, the hole. I hope it's worth uh, the effort. I, it's got 40, 40 cutter heads so I think it's gonna be pretty pretty quick job. So it's open, it's looking pretty neat, it's, um, yeah. It looks pretty good, impressive. Well preserved, it's all oiled and nicely kept. I've had it for a little longer than I like in the sh sitting on the shelf because I never had the time to do this, but uh, yeah. Let's try it. Okay, so the new uh, cutter head is installed. Actually, not any difficult at all. Bearings, um, small bearing. Just make sure it's you get it started correctly, because because of this, uh, it's not a full shaft till the end can be a little bit uh, tricky to to get it going but uh, it taps nice nicely in uh, it's got a good fit and uh, uh, no problem uh, same with the the larger one is but this is easier to get going and get started so yeah no big uh, no big issues just Tap them on, segring back. Cutter heads installed, took a wee bit of time to install all, all the carbides, but uh, nothing nothing major. Um, each of them have this little punch mark here. I've tried to install all of them the same way, just to keep track if I rotate them later on. Um, anyway. Get back the pulley and reassemble everything. So I've started the reassembly. Started with these first, just um, engage them in the threads just ever so slightly so they don't rest on their bearings. Uh, the other side have the, the stop block mechanism. This will lock it when you there's like some foot brakes here when you use the lever and it also engages this stopper here so that you have to do manually. Um, I found it easier to, to enter the bearing rods first so you line them up here and then you install the bottom base. Now, to calibrate the height of the thread bars, make sure that the um, carriage here is resting fully on all four corners, because that would be your zero point. So I flipped the machine a little bit on the side just to show you how to to uh, set your calibration height calibration uh, as i said you need to make sure these are fully bottomed out on all four corners and then on your on your hoist mechanism just 
enter it so it's snug snug tight and when you are to fasten this little screw on the bearing <clears throat> make sure you set a little wrench here so you don't start to turn this just make sure you hold it in the same position on both sides and then it should be calibrated so i've uh, reassembled everything um i think the whole assembly took me about three three to three and a half hours if you had uh, the correct uh, tools you probably would make it in two two and a half hours no problem um just verify that the hoist works okay and that everything lands evenly when you lower it down should do seems to be pretty good for me i've uh, cleaned up uh, a few parts so it's actually working a lot smoother now than i did before i disassembled it so i'm gonna test it with some oak okay so i ran it uh through quick test i'll uh, do uh, another pass take it down half a turn which uh, normally used to be more than enough on my old uh, two knife cutter head so let's try this one <laughs> is uh, noisy but um, not more than before a little bit uh, different sound I think but uh, the result is really a lot nicer than it was before there are no marks in either end absolutely none whatsoever and really there are no it's perfect actually much much better than the uh, two knife original cutter block so sheer tech very good